family. This is Michelle from Eka Circle. I grew up being gaslit. I grew up with a narcissistic father who, uh, when I would present the reality even as a toddler, e.g. you just hit my mum, he would make me feel crazy. And I thought uh, it might be very interesting to speak into gaslighting today because what I've noticed is that most narcissists gaslight to make you feel crazy even though you're the one witnessing it and they talk you out of your own reality and are we not seeing this as a whole collective now like it was just a little blink ago that we were being forced to stand on an x to line up in the supermarket um, or we're you know told that we have to be certain meters apart from people so that we didn't all of this is just blown away like it didn't happen and like you're crazy if you bring it up um, so I thought I'd speak to you about gaslighting as a form of psychological manipulation and know that <clears throat> it's pretty common knowledge that those that call themselves elites are technically in this narcissist basket often so you know, to climb the corporate ladder and walk over others without empathy or without thinking about the collective, there's got to be something that's unplugged within you in order to be so manipulative that you just don't care about the consequences. So gaslighting is this form of psychological manipulation where a person or a group makes someone question their own reality, their memory or their perceptions. It often involves the abuser lying, denying facts or misdirecting information to make a victim doubt their own sanity. We've got everybody around the world now questioning whether or not that really happened. And if you grew up in a narcissistic family, if you grew up being gaslit, you are more susceptible to be questioning the triggers that are saying, hey, hang on a minute, question your own sanity. So I want you to think about that. Um, these are common tactics that gaslighters use. They are lying, denying, distracting, minimizing, blaming and using others. And it's become so rampant, so prevalent now that it's become the normal. Look in an office situation are we not seeing this happen on a daily? Are we not seeing this happen on a daily in the political realm? You know, there's not a single polit. We know intuitively that politicians lie and yet we still are being gaslit to vote for them. It's crazy to me. But as I said, if you grew up being gaslit with this psychological manipulation, you're more susceptible to that and I'm compassionate to that, which is why I thought I'd open up the dialogue. So if you grew up being gaslit, here are some things that you might be falling into without really recognizing it. Hello, soul fam. Um, it's conditioning. You have been conditioned from a really young age to believe what you're told or to be manipulated or even just to tolerate it. Um, number two is low self-esteem. So if you're struggling with vocalizing your truth or your reality, or um, comparing yourself to others. This may be a result of you being gaslit in your earlier days. Um, and boundary issues. Hello, <laughs> um, we're struggling growing up, setting healthy boundaries. This can often be a side symptom of you being gaslit in your earlier childhood years. How about validation seeking or seeking the validation of others? I feel like I tick all of these boxes, which is what I'm struggling to heal in myself. So it doesn't surprise me that um, to just sit with it and be conscious of it, I can go, oh yeah, I've struggled with conditioning. I've struggled with low self-esteem. I've struggled with validation issues. I've struggled with... Um, trust issues. I've struggled with the next one is pattern recognition. Without recognizing the patterns or the signs of gaslighting, you will fall into the similar relationships. Those that grow up in uh, gaslighting or, um, uh, you know, 
because there's so many forms of abuse, right? There's not just physical abuse, this is psychological abuse. And this happens on a collective uh, in order to keep us under control as human beings. But if you grow up without seeing these patterns, you'll be very susceptible to it and perpetuate the cycle. So I'd like you to first step back and just without emotion, just recognize these patterns to break free from their influence. Um, if you feel you need some help or some therapy, there is no shame in asking for that. And these are some things that are reasons that narcissists keep us gaslit. And think about this on the greater spectrum as a collective. The narcissist needs control. The narcissist lacks empathy. The narcissist is preserving ego. The narcissist needs to manipulate you. The narcissist is validation seeking and the narcissist is out to exploit you so if you can recognize the signs of gaslighting and seek support if you suspect that you're being targeted and let's be honest i think on a collective we're all being targeted in this time uh, there are support groups find some people that can hear you and trust your intuition trust your reality is your truth if you feel you heard it saw it witnessed it don't let anybody steal that from you i'm here to support you if you feel the need to inbox i'm there to answer every single question that i'm able to and if you feel like you would need a session in order to help you i can do these remotely too lots of love soul fam and i hope this helps you process that the time's up for us to be psychologically manipulated on the major scale collectively. Lots of love.